Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial series we'll be creating a complete mobile trivia game with online leaderboards. The game will follow a classic trivia format where players try to answer as many questions as possible before running out of lives. Once their lives are depleted, their score will be saved to an online database. This way all players will share the same leaderboard, making it a competitive game. For a database we're going to use Firestore, so if you never heard about it, it's okay, it's very easy to set up and we're going to do this together. The first thing we're going to do is create our project, so I'm going to use the 22 LTS version, but any other version should work because we're not doing anything special, just make sure that it's not a very old one but you use a more modern one. We are going to use the 2D mobile core template and again this will probably be in some editor versions and not in others so you can just download this version that I'm using or find a version that has this template. I'm going to give a name to the project and I'm going to create a project. So the project was created and now we're going to talk a bit about the structure of this application. So this is a simple overview of our game. We're going to have five different scenes and this is just a way I like to create applications in Unity. I like to divide them into different scenes depending on the functionality. So of course we can do everything in one scene and then create different layers of UI, but I think it's much more efficient to separate them into different scenes so each scene will have its own code and this way everything is much more clean. So we're going to have five different scenes. We're going to have the main menu scene, the game scene, the game over scene, the option scene and the leaderboard scene. So this is an overview just so we know what we're dealing with, what we need to create and this is always a good idea to create some kind of overview before you start creating your game or an app so this way you can know exactly what to expect and how to design your game. And as I told you, we're going to have online leaderboards. So when we go to the leaderboard scene, it's going to fetch data from the Firestore database and display it in a list. So we're going to see a list of users and their scores. And when we finish a game and move to the game over scene, we're basically going to save the score of the player. Obviously, if the player did not earn a higher score, he did not beat his high score, we're not going to send the data. But each time we have a new score for the player, we're going to set the data in the Firestore database. Obviously, this is a very general overview, but this is the way our game is going to work. And we're going to come back to this screen each time we need to understand what we do next. So the first thing we want to do is create these five scenes. So inside the scenes folder, we're going to rename this sample scene to be main menu. And we're going to create a few more scenes. So we have our five scenes and now we also want to add them into the build settings. So we go to file, build settings and we get the screen over here. For now we only have this one. So we want to simply add all the scenes, we're simply going to select them all and drag them into this slot. So now we have all of the scenes inside the build settings. So when we build this app, Unity will know that these are the scenes that are available and will know to actually take them into consideration. And this is something you need to do for every game. You need to add your scenes into the build over here. Now, because it's going to be a mobile game and it's going to be for Android, then we need to change the platform and it's a good idea to do it at the beginning of the development, otherwise things may not go as planned. So in order to make this into an Android game, we need to change the platform. Now this may be grayed out for you if you never downloaded the Android package. Okay, so if you click over here, you may not see all of these settings. You may see a button that says install or download 
Android. So you will have to do it. You will have to click on it and it will start downloading the Android package. It may take some time, but once it's done, you're going to see Android over here in white and you're going to see all of these options. I already did this, so I'm not going to do it again, but basically we can see this logo over here. So we know that this is the platform that we currently use. So we are going to click on Android and then we're going to switch platform. And now that we switch the platform, we can see the logo over here next to Android. We have all of these settings and now we can basically close this window and nothing has changed, but Unity knows that this game is now meant for Android. We can also click over here and see the different resolutions that are more relevant for a mobile game. So this is something that's changed. Otherwise you would see desktop resolutions, but other than that, we don't need to do much. And in the next episode, we're going to start with the UI of our main menu. So that's all for this episode. Please subscribe so you can get updated when the newest episodes come out and I'll see you next time.